Hey guys, what's going on? Space Cowboy here, and we got another Cowboys W in the books. 27-17 over the Saints, first win in New Orleans since 2009. It's pretty cool to finally see the Cowboys go into New Orleans and do their thing. Now, this was a much uglier win than I th would have liked it to be. Um, and I think that Dallas needed this. You know, you're kind of lucky in a situation you're going to New Orleans to play a Saints team that is hurt. You know, they started out 5-2, and two, looked like they could possibly be a team to be in the mix of things, but they've really fallen apart, okay? So my main thing is, is, well, what are the main takeaways from this game? Is there anything that we need to be concerned? Um, we'll go through all that. So the first thing is, is how did the offense perform? And this was the biggest issue I had with the night, and that was the offense. Um, I understand you're not going to score in every position. Listen, I understand that. Like, there are going to be games where you cannot score because you're going up against... I already talked about this in the pregame. You're going up against, I believe it was the 13th best defense or, like, the 50... Like, they were a top, you know, 15, 16 unit. So it's not going to be easy to play these types of guys. I said this in the pregame video. But at the same time, you know, you look at that offense and you're like, okay, well, depend. you know, you got Taysom Hill. I think that... You should be able to contain him, and you should be able to get the job done. Now, they did. Now, offensively, um, you know, a couple of things. The first thing, it comes it start. we start with coaching. Kellen Moore just, there are moments where he looks like a young genius, and then other moments he looks like a complete jackass. And I think what, um, what you know, boggles my mind is that, the Dallas Cowboys, you know, could have really opened this game up a lot more in the sense of, okay, they were just, when they were running the ball, right, I don't have a problem when you run the ball. I, you know, I'm a fan of passing the ball, especially on first down. I don't like doing things that don't work. For example, the Dallas Cowboys decided, you know what, or rather Kellen Moore is like, you know what, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and just run the ball full head of steam into the interior of the defense of the Saints, which is their strong suit. That's not going to work, okay? And so, for me, like, that's the one thing. And also some of the plays where I'm like, what the hell? Like, we're doing a flea flicker, and it wasn't executed poor. It was executed poorly, which isn't on more, but more so. I'm like, what the hell? I'm like, what in the hell is going on? <laughs> um, so there were moments where I felt like we should have ran the ball when we needed to at the end, and we should have passed the ball more when we, sh you know, we needed to. Uh, now we go to Dak. I think that Dak is kind of, he's getting out of this funk, but at the same time, he has his moments where it looks like he's still in that situation. So he had moments where it was like, oh, crap, you know, he looks great. Um, the touchdown pass to Gallup, you know, a lot of these throws he made, some of these throws, they were really good. You know, like the Cowboys were, um, driving down the field on the final, uh, possession of the half. And really we should have scored there if it wasn't for a holding call. We should have gotten a touchdown, but you know, for him to do what he did, I think was masterful. Now the second half was a different story. I think he could have been better. Um, I think he was 7 to 16 in the second half. And, like, there were moments where it was just, like, you know, like, we don't need the pass there. And also, like, why are you making that throw? Now, the interception, for me, that wasn't a good throw. But on the top of that, it's hard to make a good throw when your eyes are covered. You know what I mean? So, for me, he did enough uh, to get us the win. Uh, sure, the stat line doesn't look as sexy or appealing. But... It, listen, a win's a win, you know, I think that I, I can speak for everyone saying, like, you know, I think we care about the win more so than stat line. If you say otherwise, I think now we're just having a disingenuous conversation, but that's just me. Um, but he's got plenty of time to get this thing kinked out. I think that, um, I'm gonna, actually, I'm going to save this uh, this point for later because it's going to be important in the, the, um, uh, the latter part. Now, um, the running attack did not look good at all. The offensive line had no push. And um, Zeke is just 
oh my god, like he has that that knee injury is bugging him, and I'm praying that he can get healthy. Like at least we're gonna have some rest, but at the same time, it's just like, what are we doing? Um, Pollard looks great. I mean, like he had moments where it was just like, okay, you know, that's cool. And then the 56-yard touchdown it was, I think, um, or 58-yard touchdown. Holy crap! That the Jets that were put on display. Um, I I mean, what what else can you say? I mean, dude can do his thing. Um, and I don't think that this is something to say that Zeke is like complete shit. I think the problem is is that Zeke is hurt, and also the offensive line has its moments. And really, like when they started running to the outside, they had a lot more success. So I think that Kellen Moore needs to realize we need to run the ball outside. Uh, the offensive line now, Lyell, dude, Lyell had I was like, what in the hell is going on? Like Lyell had his moments this game. Um, I mean, other than that, the offense didn't look great. They looked average to good um, at times. You know, obviously bad at other times. But I think I think they can get this shit together. Point blank. Now the defense, holy crap, ladies and gentlemen. For the first time in a long time, I could say that the Cowboys have won a game with their defense. And, you know, with Dan Quinn being the head coach this game and all this other stuff, it's really cool to see, um, what's his face? It's it's really cool to see, um, you know, you know, Micah, Casey, uh, you know, you got Diggs getting another interception. You got the big guy in Carlos Watkins, I think it was, who got the touchdown. It was a really good performance. Micah is unbelievable. He, like, he is making a case for Defensive Player of the Year. He is the lock for Rookie of the Year defensively. Like, that is no question. The guy has 10 sacks. He is, like, deflecting passes and shit. It's like, what in the hell? Like, oh my god. I've never seen a defensive player as good as him. Uh, in the sense of, like, his instantaneous impact. Which is crazy. Now, um... I think the biggest thing, too, is that the presence of Demarcus Lawrence was huge in this game. Like, the Saints could not run the ball effectively other than Taysom Hill running out from outside the pocket. You know, I'm looking at the stats here. Mark Ingram had 10 carries for 28 yards. Um, you know, uh, Montgomery, 21 carries. I mean, or 21 carries, 21 yards. Like, this is a situation where it's like, this is where you're going to benefit from having him back. You're getting Gallimore back. You're getting Gregory back. And, um, you know, going back to the offense for a second, just as a brief side note, they got everybody back and they're just trying to get back into rhythm. They have plenty of time to do that. The defense, I think, needs to... Get you know, I think that that's going to be the question mark is how well can the Cowboys defense play? Because offensively speaking, we've seen what Dallas can be when they're at their peak. Defensively, Dallas is not had everybody there. So this is going to be really cool to see this final stretch of games to how well we do. Uh, special teams wise, um, I got to give a huge shout out to Anger, the punter, because he has been an amazing punter for the Cowboys. He has done works in this guy. Like he was an MVP for this game because of how he put the Saints in situations where they had to drive down the field, like, to the point to where, like, it took time off the clock, and then they really got into a situation where they couldn't do anything. Um, it was really funny seeing Brett Maher <laughs> miss a field goal. Um, and there was bullshit calls, you know, the one blindside block. I was like, what? Or what? the chop block. I don't even remember what it was. It was on, um, like, 44 or 45 of the Saints. I'm like, what in the hell? But this defense is looking good. And I think in the special teams, you know, I, I can't complain. You know, we're doing our thing. Um, the Cowboys finally got some touchdowns and they won a game. Um... I mean, Anthony Brown played a much better game this time around. Curse had a great game. We already talked about Parsons. I mean, like, you can't really complain in the sense of the defensive department other than they could have stopped Hill here and there. And I, and I, you know, all I could say is, is what a hell of a win. Um, now, going forward, and then getting back to the point that I was saying earlier. Now, I said that... 
this game was going to be important to see where Dallas was as a team. Like, okay, like, if the offense is still struggling, can the defense hold up their end of the bargain? Which they can. You know, they definitely can, uh, especially with everybody getting back. That's number one. But number two, how far can we see them going? Right now, I could see them maybe winning a playoff game. Now, hear me out. If Dallas can take these next three games, okay, if they could take these next three games before the Cardinals game to get this offense back into shape and gear in terms of being effective in passing the ball, running the ball, stuff like that, or just doing something good offensively, I would change where I think Dallas is going to do this offseason, or excuse me, this postseason. Um, so... I just think they, look, they, they were lucky to be in the situation to play the team that they played. Not that that takes away from what they did today, okay? The, the, the Cowboys tend to struggle with the Saints, especially under Sean Payne. I think now Sean Payne's 5-4 and four against us. But I think that we can, you know, take away that Dallas has a squad that if everything goes their way, they can do something. And I, I, I don't really think that you should be upset. Dallas wins their first game in December, and now they have games in the division. They have three straight divisional games. So I think that this is going to be an important run for the Cowboys to just... This is where they're going to clinch the NFC East. I think that um, Washington is 5-6 and six now. They play the Raiders, so we'll see how that goes. But there's a possibility where Dallas can lock this thing up as soon as that uh, set, that last Washington game or the Giants game if some teams lose. So, uh, game plan for next week, uh, off the top of my head right now, we need to get this offense back into gear, and I think Dallas will be fine. So, um, we'll see what happens, guys. But other than that, you have a great rest of your night. Go Cowboys, and I'm glad we're now eating four.